Hi everyone, it's Millie. Today I'm going to show you how to do these gorgeous little wall wreaths. I've seen them around Pinterest, Instagram, they're really all over social media and they're really gorgeous. Um, they're really easy to do and I'm happy to show you how to do them today. So what we've got, you've got these beautiful golden uh, hoops, you can get them in um, natural products as well, in cane and everything like that, but today I'm going to use these golds because that's what I've got and it's going to go well with the flowers that I've chosen uh, and the theme that I want to uh, portray today. So, first of all, this is a really easy thing to do. You don't need a lot of equipment. You need a spool of wire. It's just a 26 gauge, because then it's really easy to meld. You can just wrap, 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 nice and easy. I've got a little bit of paracol. Um, I've taken white, because the theme I'm doing is white. Paracol comes in white and green. Um, and I've got the stretchy one, because that's the one I like working with the best. And then I've just got random flowers that have uh, broken off uh, heads have come off, um, have a little bit left over here and there. I'm going to use those and make something really beautiful today. I'm also going to use the raffia because everyone knows that raffia is my favourite ribbon to use because it's a natural product um, and I'm quite into that sort of stuff. Um, not perfect, but I'm getting better all the time. I'm finding new things all the time just to use naturally. So, I'm going to get started with that. Um, and today we're going to start with this beautiful gum. Um, all we have to do here is lay it along the wreath, give the bum a trim. You always got to trim your bum. And then using your wire, you set yourself up because it's going to be a little bit of a spoolie thing. So, first lot of wire, we're just going to wrap around and around to get it started. I've chosen the green wire because it's going to blend in and I'm not going to have to worry about it too much. It's just going to wrap it around to start with, pinch it in on itself and wrap it back. Then, it's going to get that and wrap it through this and wrap it around. Later on towards the finishings, what we'll do is we'll pinch it in spots to make sure that the leaves are sitting where I want them to sit. Uh, once all the flowers are on it, you'll start to see it take shape. Um, everything that you do will normally be a little bit different from the last one. Uh, so because we're working with a natural product, the leaves don't all come in the same spot every single time. So we'll just work it like that. So, that's our first little leaf and it's on. And around she goes. And then I'm just going to sit that in the middle there. And then I'm going to start layering uh, with the other products that I have. So I've got some beautiful little paper daisies. I've got a couple wired up and I've got one here that I'm going to show you how to wire. These have literally fallen off uh, the beautiful bunch that have come and we've just dried them out. So paper daisies, they come in burgundy, yellow, white, pink, gold, bronze, all the most beautiful colours. Uh, and they're so versatile to use, you use them fresh. And then once you're finished with them fresh, use them dry. It's the gift that keeps on giving. So happy to have a little bit of stalk on the bottom of that. Going to just double up my wire, like a little U shape at the top, pinch it at the top there. I've got a glue gun here to secure it because paper daisies are quite fragile. So that's on there now. Then I'm going to use my white parafilm, just pinch it, make sure it's nice and secure on that little wire. Just take your time doing that because they are a little bit fragile at that end. That's all the way down there. And they've got a little white paper daisy. I've got my glue gun here. My glue gun is my evil. She always bites me. So I'm just going to glue just at the top here a little bit because just to secure it a little bit more around the top. And I know that's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Whilst that's drying, I'm going to keep continuing over here and start layering uh, with the products that I like. I've got a little bit of white ruscus. I'm gonna grab that out. Love the white ruscus. Oh, actually, I just love flowers. Everything I do, it's just so good. Love it. So I'm gonna take a little bit off this spool, it's annoying me. And then just start wrapping it around. Like I said, you're not going to see this wire once you've got everything in. 
nice and secure. Just keep winding it round and securing it on. You can't see the wire in the workings there. It's super fine and good. And out you go. So that's looking good. Now I'm going to start layering some flowers. So now I'm going to uh, layer some flowers through and just see the shape that it's going to start taking. I've got these beautiful little white pussy tails. They've got a nice, decent stem on them, so I don't have to wire them at all. So I'm just going to cut them. I'll trim them a bit more later, uh, but just get into the uh, workable length that you want. Once again, just going to layer it in. I'm going to layer that on top of the ruskus because I think it looks nice there. And then once again with the wire, simple as guys. Wire it around. You just got to, uh, oh, there we go. We've lost a leaf. The world's not ending. Wiring that through there. And securing it on. And as you can see, that's going to start taking shape and that's not going to go anywhere. So curious. But we're going to keep doing that method all the way through. I'm just going to do a beautiful half moon uh, in, the, in the flowers today. So once I get to a point here, I'm going to redirect the flowers the other way and come up the other way. So I'll start doing that. I'm going to layer some beautiful smoke wash on. Just keep spinning it round. You've got the little stem secured there. I also have lying around uh, the shop some beautiful little white fern. This white fern came in and some of the preserves at the moment are coming in a little bit wet. So this little fern has no strength in its, in its stem. This stuff is absolutely perfect for cutting down, wiring and popping in in this kind of arrangement. So I'm going to grab a beautiful little white fern, give it a haircut, trim it off to where I want it and then just lay it on there again and keep on working. So that's starting to take shape really beautifully. I'm starting to like that there. Now I'm going to grab another piece of uh, gum because we want the contrast in the colours. I'll break off the leaves on the bottom because I don't need the whole stem. Cut that down to a workable length and just layer it in. Once again, windy, windy, windy. This is such an easy, really cost-effective way of using up some of your bits. Now, flashing brides. Everybody knows that they can be dry. Um, we had some in a beautiful little arrangement. Everything else in the arrangement uh, perished because they weren't long-lasting. The blushing brides stay on strong. So we pulled them out of our, our bars and we put them aside. Today is the day that they make their comeback. By layering in the blushing brides, which is in the Protea family. Using that wire again, it gets a little bit caught up, so you'll just take your time with that. That looks really good. Now I'm going to start thinking about how how far I want this to come. So I'm going to start popping in my little beautiful paper daisies as the focal. Now that's already wired, so that's really easy to like to pop into shape. Everything else I've kept on their natural stems. Having those little paper daisies uh, on a wire is fantastic. But I use the actual physical wire of paper daisies and wrap that around to secure some of the other stems. Cut it to the length that you want. Coming along nice. So this is our halfway point. Hasn't taken too long so far. I'm probably doing it a little bit slower than normal because I'm on video and normally when you're doing a video you get a little bit nervous. That's what's happening here. But that's looking really cute. So we're going to continue on that, but instead of going up, I'm going to start facing it down and see what we can pop out the other end. So with the same materials again, I'm going to grab a beautiful little piece of gum. This has just been beautiful fresh gum. Uh, once again, uh, we couldn't sell it, uh, so we've dried it out and we're going to use that. So nothing at the moment is getting wasted and that's super important. So I'm going, if we're going up, 
this way. I'm going to go a quarter or a third, sorry, of the way out the other side to balance it down the bottom. So it doesn't just look like too even. I like a little bit off, off kilter and off centre. So, poking that out be a third or a quarter of the top here. Wiring that bit in. Still got some nice wire there. Then I'm going to grab a little bit more of the white rustic. So cost effective to do something so beautiful because you're not using a heap of it. Just using little beautiful sprigs of it. Lay my rustic down. Windy, windy. The wire down in on itself. I'm going to use a little bit of hydrangea, a little bit of this beautiful blush hydrangea. It comes in a beautiful little pack, just all off cuts. Uh, perfect for things like this. I'm going to use the blush. It's going to bring up the pink of the um, pink, uh, blushing brights. Look at that. <gasps> so beautiful. I'm going to trim it. Even this, even though it's tiny, is too big for me. I'm just going to unlock the little heads a bit. I'm just going to see how that falls. Maybe having it falling a little bit like water falling out of it is going to be quite beautiful. So that means I'm going to have to wire it up the other side again, but that's okay. Plenty of wire. That's coming along nicely. Take a look at what your, your arrangement is starting to look like, and then you're going to start filling in with your focal flowers. So I'm going to grab another one of these beautiful little paper daisies, bend the head out so he's a little bit out. Me, this needs a little focal here. And get round again. Have a little bit more of your spool wire. Just twist it at the back. I'm going to turn that over and just, just turn it in on itself, around and around. And that's going to secure it. Clip off the bit that's spiky and wiring out. For me, I think it will be perfectly sat right in here at the top. So I'm going to feed that through. Just going to lay it down. And do the same again. That's cute as a button. And it pop a few more beautiful little blushing drives down the end here. Untangle those. Sewing. You sew the, the wire through to the other side and pull and tightly into place with the blushing grind. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to grab a few more little pussy tails at the bottom. I do things in odd numbers, so threes, fives. I can never put anything even. It's my curse. And stagger them at different heights. It looks a little bit more funky and gorgeous. Layering in those in there, and then I'm just going to wire those on. So that's coming along. I'm going to put a little bit more of um, the beautiful smoke bush that falls a little bit out here, and maybe something a little bit at the top there. I'm going to figure out what I want, and then I think we're almost done. So I'm going to grab the smoke bush. Grab a few bits. There we go. Some I prepared earlier. I think that's really good. 
Now, the way that I'm going to finish that, so that can sit flat on the bottom of your wall, like that, but it can also go like this. That's the way that I imagined it when I started. It's gonna be like a half crescent moon. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of a raffia bow here, just some trailing bits down. So I think that will finish it off. It'll almost look like a beautiful flowery dream catcher. So I've got my raffia. Um, I've got about four or five pieces here. I'm just going to make a little bow with that and then I'm going to wire that onto the bottom there and hopefully it will come together. So making the bow, I'm just going to make like you were tying your shoelace. I'm making a loop here. We have the other four over. And just like a shoelace, straight through. And pull. Because I've got four pieces, I know I can um, push them out to make a little nice shape and make them a little bit fluffier. And then if the, the, the lace part's too big, I'm going to cut them down. But play with that to kind of get a cute little rustic shape. And tight. So going this way, just pull your, your rapier into shapes. And that looks really, for me, looks really nice. And hold this up to where I think I want it and then I'm just going to place this raffia just in there. I'm going to wire that straight into that position and just have it drooping down a little bit. So I'll pop that down, get myself prepared with the wire, cut off the love a little bit. I feed the wire through the bow of the, um, this bow part. So turn it round, twist it. The easy part is securing it to this. So two little prongs, one up the top, one down the bottom. Go straight through the, the center there and one out the back. I've got those two pieces. Turn it over. And once again, just secure that in place by just twisting it in on itself. Cut off your little bits, pushing the end bits so you're not going to scratch any fabrics or anything like that. So pushing the wire in on itself. And then just manoeuvre it to gravity will make it fall in the position that you want it to. You can fiddle with things all day. And there we have a beautiful little brass wall hanging. Beautiful over your little daughter's beds. Fantastic for churches. Fun for the, uh, parties and things like that. If you wanted to just hang around with your mates and do some beautiful crafty things. Simple, easy, it doesn't need a lot of materials. Um, and yeah, really cost effective and really beautiful to do.